Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, hello, my name is Brittany and my channel name is pronounced Bratterstein. Today's video is going to be a fitness Friday, as I'm sure you gathered by the thumbnail and title, because I always put, you know, like, fitness Friday, colon, blah, 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 whatever it's going to be about. Uh, today's video is going to be a different one. It's, I mean, it is fitness related, but it's going to be a bit different. I'm actually really excited about it because today's video is going to be me taking you through my entire deadlift workout. And if you do not follow me on my fitness Instagram, I'll put it on the screen here. It is just fatter scene, like, like brighter scene, but like, but like fatter scene cause, cause I was fat and it's fitness related <laughs> and I'm so funny. Anyways, if you don't follow that page, you would not know that I really like to deadlift. It's my absolute favorite thing to do. I love to do squats too. And I do bench press but I hate to bench press. It's just, it's just a move I feel like I have to do and it has stolen my boobs and left me with nothing. And it's a really one-sided relationship and I'm not, and I'm not, and, I'm, and I don't, I do not appreciate it, but here we are. But anyways, uh, that's what today's video is gonna be. It's just gonna be me taking you through my entire deadlift workout for this last Sunday. When I'm filming this, it is Monday. So yesterday's deadlift workout, which was a really good one. Actually, I got, some pretty good numbers, if I do say so myself. And there actually is a clip uh, of my husband getting a sweet PR, which is a personal record or one rep max, which is just like the most he was able to lift with one pull. It's just, it's gonna be a fun thing if this is something you're interested in and it's something I'm very interested in. So I'm excited to be filming it and sharing it with you because it makes me extremely happy and yeah. So before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put out new videos every week, sometimes twice a week, like this week. There was one on Wednesday, so make sure to go and watch that, obviously, because it's a good one, because I took my time and I filmed it, the way. And yeah, I'll go ahead and get us into this video, right? You want to do that? Let me do that right now. If you would like to see my whole deadlift workout, the whole thing from stretching to the end, <laughs> just keep on watching. Okay guys, so I went in and I started with stretching. This is not my full stretch situation. I still wanna do a video based strictly on my stretches that I do before and after heavy weightlifting, but this one is one of my favorites to do and it really stretches out the lower back and hamstring. So please let me know if you wanna see the video of the full stretching, because I think it would be a good one to do. It made a big difference for me when I started to finally stretch and not just go in cold on heavy weightlifting. That's never good for your body. Let me tell you that now. All right, guys, so now I'm going in for some warm-ups with weight. I usually start with warm-ups with the bar, but I didn't think that would be particularly interesting for this video, but I do stiff-legged deadlifts for like sets of 10 with the bar first, and then I go in with 135. I can kind of gauge what kind of deadlift day it's gonna be by going in with 135 and seeing how heavy that feels. Um, so I do that for eight to 10 reps, depending on how I'm feeling and how loose I'm feeling. If I feel kind of tight, I do more. If I feel already loose, I do less and then move on to heavier weight. I know that my form isn't spectacular or anything. I never claim for it to be. I learn every time I deadlift little things that help me and make it a little bit better, but this is how I deadlift at the moment and every day I get a little bit better. So now I am going in with 185 and I'm adding clips because I don't want the weights to move around now that there's two of them. Uh, this is a fairly decent weight for me. It's consistent to do for reps without any type of issue. I can't do 10 if I want to do 10, but I usually don't so that I don't waste my energy on this weight when I could go heavier than this. Um, I usually reserve that for like 225. That's when I start going for as many as I can. So what I'm aiming for here is keeping my shins as close to the bar as possible all the way up and keeping my back as flat as possible. That's always my hardest part is keeping my upper back flat because I just have a little rolled over hunched back in general. <laughs> so now I'm going to go in with my belt. I usually go in with a belt um, once I get to 225 or a little bit after. Lately I've been able to do 225, which is that weight there without a belt. Um, but this particular day, I don't think I had started that yet, so I'm going in with the belt. And now I'm chalking up my hands. The reason that I do this is because the moisture in my skin from sweat or humidity in the room will actually cause the skin on your hands to rip. So what the chalk does is absorbs the moisture to avoid that. Because let me tell you, I have ripped my calluses and it 
is not fun and it pretty much finishes your deadlift day for you because you're not going to keep going with ripped hands. Well, I mean, some people do, but I'm a lady and I don't. So on this particular day, I go for sets of four with 225. I believe I only did one set of four because I wanted to move up in weight. Um, this was relatively an easy weight for me. I can actually do this beltless now for four to six um, without having too much of an issue, but it just takes a lot of practice and you want to try to do reps with a heavy weight to help build strength obviously and not just always go for heavy singles which is all I ever really want to do if I'm totally honest with you. So at the top of my last rep on pretty much any set I like to hold the weight at the top for a couple of seconds to try to build up my grip strength since I don't have the greatest grip strength in life and now here I decided to switch views for you. I figured you'd seen enough of just my butt for, for the day. So I went ahead and put tens on each side to bring it up to 245. And I'm gonna go ahead and lift this off the ground now. So a lot of my sets is getting me ready mentally and physically in a position where I feel comfortable doing it, getting my breathing in order, making sure I'm breathing into my belt and um, getting my feet in the right position. So now that I've gotten that all done, I'm going to apparently not lift it yet and still adjust my position because you don't want to hurt your back because I have hurt it many times so I'm always a little cautious um, and then I went ahead and I did this for two reps um, it was relatively easy but you know it, it, it all depends on the day so at this point, I was actually going to go in for a third, but when I went to breathe and brace, I almost peed my pants and had to inform my husband of this. And at this point, he let me know that my back could be a little bit better. I had thought that, you know, I was relatively flat, but apparently not. And that's why it's good to have a gym partner to kind of keep you in check and let you know when your form is not great, because sometimes it's just not and you don't realize it. Also, please don't judge me for almost peeing my pants. This is a more common thing in females deadlifting than is discussed, but this is a common thing that you will see. Um, I don't know what it is. It's a pressure thing. I know there's exercises you can do to try to help that, but just know that if you deadlift and you pee a bit, it just kind of happens. I've never like full on peed my pants, but I have seen people that have, so just keep that in mind. Um, and now I decided to do another set with this weight before trying and failing which you'll see in a second um, on another set with heavier weight than this is right now <laughs> so I actually got my clips confused and the next weight I do um, I actually do get off the ground this is not the one where I misjudged my weight so right here this is 265 I believe at this time this might have been my one rep max I'm at 285 now um, you know what? No, it was 285 then. The first time I got this up was one of the happiest days ever. Honestly, anything past 225 has me pretty stoked, if I'm real with you. It's just such a cool thing because there was a point in time where 225 was inconsistent for me. There was days when I could give it up and there was days when I would struggle with it every second. So now that I can do this much weight and I do this for two reps here and I believe that was my first time ever doing it. I could be wrong, but it's just such a satisfying feeling to practice at something so much, enjoy it so much and actually do a decent job at it because that is not the existence I have a lot of the time in my life. So yeah. All right, and this here is 275 pounds. This weight, <laughs> this weight is something that I was chasing forever. Um, I wanted to be able to pick this up by the end of 2017, but it just didn't end up happening. I had a bad back injury due to bad form and ego lifting last year that stopped it. But this year I finally got up 275 and it was the happiest day ever. If you haven't seen it, I have a video on my Instagram, which is at Fatterstein. I'll put it on the screen somewhere and let you know, but oh my gosh, the first time I lifted this, it was the best feeling ever because I had been chasing it for so incredibly long. And I finally did it. Okay guys, and now we're going into the set where I made a mistake. I did not calculate this right and I thought I was going for 285, which is something that at this time I think I might have been able to do once, um, but this is actually 295 and I definitely surprised myself when it felt absolutely impossible. And I didn't even realize that it was that much until I think I went home that day and was watching this footage. But I mean, it, it moves off the ground just a very, very little bit. But the fact that it came off the ground at all gives me hope that I will get this up soon and it'll be great. 
right here you can see that I got starry-eyed. I don't know if anybody else gets this or if anybody lifts, but when your eyes start to get kind of blinky and you have to kind of shake it out so you don't pass out, uh, that happens to me from time to time. And that happened to me right here where I was kind of tripping because I thought I was going to pass out. <laughs> And then, of course, because I can't stop and won't stop, I tried this again because I thought it was 285 and I thought that it was in me, but I didn't realize that this is just 10 pounds above any weight that I've ever lifted in my life. To this day, I still haven't gotten this up. I haven't even attempted it because I want to get stronger so I don't hurt myself. But, you know, at this point, I thought I could do it. I really believed in myself, but they're just it wasn't in the cards for me. I don't even get it even, even close this time around. Last time, I at least got it like a little off the ground this time it's like uh no not 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 gonna happen today lady so after watching me struggle with this twice my husband was like okay it's time to drop the weight and he put it back at the what is this 275 which was you know oh wait no 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 this is 285 I believe and told me to grind that out since that's something I could actually lift off the ground oh my gosh I'm a total mess this is actually two 80. As you see there, I still had the little little lights dancing before my eyes, but I really, really, really wanted to redeem myself, as I sometimes need to. Just drop the weight a little bit and go for it for a little bit of redemption. And I remember this rep because this was like the longest travel up my legs ever. It felt like it took forever and it felt extremely heavy, but in the end, I did lock it out, so I was very happy. But look at that struggle on my poor little body but I really wanted it up and I could do it and I did it as you can see and I was extremely happy afterwards and I was also completely done so here is a quick bonus video of my husband getting a new PR I cannot even remember what this weight is to be totally honest with you 400 and something I don't know but look how strong he is and I'm so proud of him I believe it was 460 pounds, but either way, I'm gonna send you back to intro and outro, Brittany. See you later, guys. All right, guys, so that was my deadlift day yesterday. That's what I was able to do. Uh, I love it. It's my favorite thing to do, and it makes me feel very good every time I'm able to, to do it and do it better each time. I've had a lot of trouble with it. I've had a lot of back injuries. I've had a lot of injuries in general with just learning and trying not to ego lift, and doing what I can do with as good a form as I can and you know so I hope you enjoyed it please give this video a thumbs up if you did I would love to know that this is something you're interested in because I could do a squat day I could do a bench day I could do an accessories day I could do any of that because I really really enjoy it I did film a workout video before I'll link it up here it was like my week in workouts but it was a lot different then like it's crazy different now but if you'd like to see any more videos like that I will gladly film them just give this video a thumbs up and comment down below and let me know what you would like to see in the future please and thank you so much thank you thank you, thank you. and of course if you haven't subscribed I mean do it it's like it's free and like it's so nice such a nice gesture for you to do for me uh your good deed of the day could be to subscribe to a little channel like of mine and help a sister out <laughs> and anyways that completes this video but if you are still watching videos as i assume you are you can go ahead and click on one of these videos over here these are links to videos i put up in the past if you click on my face over here it'll take you to where you can subscribe to my channel so we can hang out all the time i think you should do that i think it's a good idea and I will see you next time. All right, bye guys.